this video, I want to show you how you can get data from online sources like Google Sheets into your Power BI reports. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along. And also we're going to talk about some of the reasons why you should be using online sources as opposed to local Excel files in your computer. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's start by going through this file that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple grocery sales data set that is saved on a Google Sheet and it has some information about products uh, that were bought at certain periods of time. If you've been watching my previous video, you might recognize this data set because we used it in a couple of examples before. But instead of having it on an Excel sheet in my local computer, it's actually saved in Google Sheets, which is in my personal Google account, saved online. So let's say you're in a situation where you want to pull data directly from this Google Sheets. Now, all you need to do is you need to hit share so the share button here and you need to make sure that you get the link where it is anyone with the link so this will allow your power bi report to pull data directly from this sheet and from here you just need to go to your power bi desktop you go get data from web and you'll paste that url now you'll see the last bit here, uh, which is the, the parameter of the URL. We'll just need to change that a little bit, uh, a little bit. So we'll type export where format is equals to Excel. I'll paste this um, text format for you in the description box below if you want to copy it for yourself as well. But all it does is it makes sure that this URL is in a readable format for your Power BI. In this case, it's an Excel format. If you hit OK. So now it will give you access to that Google Sheets information, similar to what you saw in the Google Sheets file into your Power BI report. So let's load that information. And there you have it. So now you have those sales information that you have on your Google Sheets connected directly into your Power BI report. So it's that simple. Now that you know how easy it is to start importing data from online sources like Google Sheets, let's talk about some of the reasons why you want to be doing this in the first place. The first reason that you might want to be using online sources as opposed to a local source is how easy it is to modify your files. Now what I mean by that is if you have multiple people working on the same data sets, having the Excel in one local computer means that you might have to be sending your data set around and you see the problem comes when, for example, version control happens where you don't know which version you should be using. Also sending sensitive information through emails, which probably is not the most convenient way to do so. So having your file in one place makes it easier for you to control who can access and who can modify this data in the first place, making data governance a lot easier. The second reason that you might want to be using an online source is the data availability. Now, if you work with Power BI in the past, um, and especially if you're working with automatic daily refreshes with your reports, typically when you set up a scheduled refresh on your local data source, you'll have to set up a special gateway for your um, Power BI service to connect to your local data files. But the problem with that setup is that the data refresh won't happen unless your computer is online and is connected to the internet, which doesn't make it as autonomous as it could be. And now using online data sources with your Power BI reports means that your scheduled refreshes can happen regardless if your computer is on or not, making it independent to yourself. And that's really it for this video. I hope this video helped you understand how easy it is to set up online data sources with your Power BI reports. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.